Now, on the OCR breadth in physics paper, the first 20 marks are all multiple choice. And this should take you about 25 minutes. And the thing about multiple choice is they can test a wide range of the physics course. And they're not always that easy. They just don't, don't think that just because they're multiple choice are going to be easy questions. And uh, basically, this video is just a couple of tips about how you might kind of get better at them, as well as, you know, a, a source of other questions that you might uh, have a go at practicing before the exam itself. So first of all, um, if you get a question like this one over here, there's basically, uh, it's asking you to calculate something. And the best piece of advice that I can give and that OCR give as well, is that you do not look at the answers. If you look at the answers, what you'll find is that some of these might distract you. So my advice is if it's a calculation, what you need to do is you need to, you know, cover this up somehow, do your working out, uh, find your answer, and then check that's one of the ones beneath it. Sometimes uh, if it's more of like a thinking kind of logical question, you know, there might be a, more of a statement rather than a number. That's when you can maybe look at the answers, kind of immediately get rid of what's definitely the wrong answer. And then you can look at the other kind of two or maybe three remaining kind of take your choice from there. Uh, the other thing is that uh, sometimes people um, leave answers blank. Now this is an absolute no-no. If you don't know the answer, just have a guess and you can always come back to it later. And you'll notice that with the OCR, what you've got to do is you've got to choose A, B, C or D. You don't circle the answer, but you put the correct answer in the box over here. And the best way to get really good at these is basically know your physics. If you're good at physics, then you'll be able to address every one of the questions that you might get within that. But although your physics might be good, you've also got to practice it. And I've put a link just below the video down here that links to another kind of 50 questions OCR have made. Uh, have a look at the link and then that will help you practice. The other thing that will really help you is looking at things like Gojimo. So I've already got another video all about Gojimo, but basically it's got a huge amount of uh, kind of multiple choice questions, which will again, just help your knowledge. Um, at the moment, and I'm talking about in uh, April 2016, they don't have the new course on it yet. They've got the old course from the, the previous year 12s, but basically you've got about uh, 250 questions here. Is that enough multiple choice uh, you know, questions for you to practice? I think it is. So maybe look at things like mechanics, uh, you know, click on motion, uh, maybe linear motion. Um, and then, you know, within this, there's just a huge amount of questions. Again, they're not always easy. Sometimes you can't just pick your answer immediately. But I'd you know, advise you not to look at the answer, uh, do your work on a scrap piece of paper, and then choose what the answer might be. And then you can sort of check your working out. So that's basically it. Uh, multiple choice questions, they're fine. They're a nice start, and they'll kind of talk about a lot of the course. But it's up to you now to really practice them. And remember, they will be hard, some of them, and you've only got about a minute per question. So good luck. Thank you.